everybody knew you just thought you was having fun. And when I came back over there the second time I was over there, I thought, wait a minute, he's underwater. And I don't even think he can swim because he's only three years old. And I picked him up and gave him to his parents. I was over at the bench and my best friend and brother were sitting over on the edge of the pool and I was kind of like, you know, looking at the phone for a split second and like a couple of minutes they brought him to me like life was. The um, girl heard me screaming and she came over. I'm an uh, LPN, I'm a nurse. I dropped everything, I think hot dogs, everything just fell. And I took off and before they can call me again, they were like, he was there in like a split second. I knew I had to start CPR. I told everybody get back. I'm like, just hold his head. I'm trying to direct everybody. All my focus was, was come on baby, come on baby, come on baby. And I felt like I was in CPR class all over again. I was scared to go back over there because uh, I thought that he wasn't going to wake back up. And then I just wished that he came back up because it was just a sad moment. The only thing I knew to do was pray. So I walked away, I cried and I prayed and, and I just was praying. And I walked back over and still nothing was going on. So I'm like, okay. I'm gonna pray until something happens. So I walked back over, I cried, I prayed, I screamed. And I was actually more afraid that his mom was th thinking I was hurting him because of how hard I was pushing. So I, in the back of my head too, I'm thinking no one better not stop me because I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna hurt somebody <laughs> if this baby doesn't wake up. I think it maybe took her like three minutes or so to revive him. But eventually she did. When the ambulance came, it was like, you know, how long was he under? And they were like, we don't know. And I'm like, I don't know. You know, I don't know. And Kobe said, well, I found him on the water. I'm like, it was you? And he was like, yeah, mom. When I found out it was him, like, I gave him a hug. And I was squeezing him so tight, like, you know, you, good job. I'm like, if it wasn't for you, no one would have known. He went to the hospital. He had a lot of fluid on his body, I mean on his lungs or whatever, so they had to warm him back up and he was kind of starting to open his eyes at that point. And they were like, it was a miracle that he's here because the average person can't stay up under the water. They say he was up under for three minutes. Uh, it makes me feel proud. I'm a tiny sheriff. I'm just a little helper. Him and his mom saved my baby life and I thank them so much. I thank God for having them around and for her to have a heart and for him to be so courageous to do something. Take care of the people you don't know, but it's always a responsibility. If someone doesn't see them, you should just help them even though you don't know them. I'm just so thankful for her and her son. Like they wow, saved my baby's family? life. The CPR is a thing to have and it's something to know, pool safety and just you got to be able to take action and step in, be all in to what's ever going on around you and help out each other.